This is a very different look compared to the last place. What is this? It's starting to look like some weird circus. The TV world changed according to the mind of whoever appeared on the Midnight Channel, right? There's shadows around, and we can call our personas here. So does that mean this Midnight Stage works the same way? You're telling me someone's mind looks like a circus on the inside? That, uh, raises a lot of questions. <laughs> Welcome to Tamami Masagi's Midnight Stage. It's that voice! Stop hiding and show yourself! Hmm. And why should I do that? I don't see any reason to bother with you. What?! You just said this was Tamami-san's stage. Is she up ahead? <laughs> yes, she is. And her performance is about to begin. She's going to become the Tamami everyone wants. A true star, shining brightly at our eternal concert. Rise told me about your spiel. Becoming the you that others want, huh? That's just letting yourself be brainwashed. Brainwashed? Not at all. This is for Tamami's sake. Forcing others to deal with your true self won't make anyone happy. To her, there's no point in being someone that nobody loves. But if she becomes the Tamami everyone wants, then everyone will love her. <laughs> Nothing could make her happier. This doesn't look good. Nothing we say is getting through. In any case, I'm sorry you've come all this way. But I'm afraid there's no admission for those without a ticket. Said. Be careful, don't get caught. Come on, connect with us. If you do, I'll let you join us and see Tamami on stage. Again. I know I was warned, but I didn't think it would be this bad. Oh crap, they're getting closer! <sighs> Everyone hang in there. Don't let the pressure overwhelm you. <laughs> Good thing Risa assigned each of us a song to work on. Dancing is expressing ourselves. I still don't quite get it. It looks like I gotta give it a shot. Give it a... Yosuke! You're gonna dance? Hey, when it comes to showing off your moves, it's first come, first served. Sorry, but I got dibs on this one. Senpai, everyone, are you all right? Rise, perfect timing. I need my song. Yosuke Senpai's track? Okay, I'm on it. I'll turn it up full blast. So wait! All right, Rise, hit it! Let's get it started now.
Yosuke, you did it! That was a great performance! Yes! You were wonderful! <laughs> Phew! Not such a disappointment now, huh? It's not like I've been screwing around all this time, you know? Whoa! Chie, are you alright? You're spacing out! Oh, it's... it's nothing. It's nothing at all, really. Just, uh... It caught me off guard, and I was like... Damn, Yosuke! Oh, ho <laughs> ho what was that, Chie? Now that you've seen how cool I can be, are you falling for me? No, that's not possible. Right, Chie? Yeah, your dance was awesome, but none of that other stuff. Uh, Yukiko-san, Chie-san, it was supposed to be a joke. Can you please get the punchline instead of taking it seriously? Oh, damn it. Even the shadows understand me better than you two. shadows anyway. I mean, these guys are kind of different from the shadows we're used to, huh? Usually they try to beat the crap out of us as soon as they see us. Now that you mention it, you're right. Oh, are they calm because they're chained down? You know, like Chosokabe. Chosokabe? The Sengoku era feudal lord? No, not him. You know my dog? His name's Muku. I keep telling her, but she keeps forgetting. Hell, this isn't even the TV world. Are there really this many shadows outside of it? I know it happened once, but that was kind of a special case. World and then they got yanked over here. Perhaps someone was walking them? Are you still stuck on dogs? Maybe they've been here all along in this world. But didn't Teddy already say this is a totally different place from the TV world? Do shadows exist, like, everywhere then? That's a scary thought. Uh, first off? Where even is here? This definitely isn't the TV world, right? Teddy said as much, so we can at least be sure about that. 
Probably. That voice said this is a place where no one hurts. Yeah, no one hurts or gets hurt, right? Well, if you get brainwashed by that ribbon, I guess you wouldn't even think about hurting anyone. Who the heck is that voice anyway? Sure sounds like they know a lot about this world. More like it rules this world. Maybe that voice created everything here. Who knows? It's not like any one specific person made the TV world either. Though if the voice does have that kind of power, then we're up against one tough opponent. It's hard to believe this is all the work of a normal person. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe the culprit isn't human. An alien, maybe? Uh, I kinda doubt that. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I did a little research after getting Risei's text. You know what people are saying about the LMB website's video, right? That it's the curse of a dead idol? serious here. There was an idol that committed suicide a while ago. And rumor has it that she cursed the site from beyond the grave. So since she's already dead, you think she has supernatural powers? Uh, oh, you two, Yukiko! Just stop! Conversation over! Come on! We should get going! We need to save Tamami-chan, right? We don't have time to be standing around chatting! You're right. Let's focus on rescuing Tamami-san. All right. If we're ready, then let's move. on TV! It's the real fluffy head in the flesh! Huh? But why are you in your stage outfit? We were practicing, and we heard this creepy song, and then something all flat and slithery wrapped around us, and I, I don't know what happened, but the next thing I knew, I was here. This doesn't make any sense! Where are we? And who are you? Uh, yeah. We haven't introduced ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, this guy's partner. And this is Chie Satonaka and Yukiko Amagi. They're our friends. Our team, I guess? <laughs> Anyhow, you can relax now that we're here. Don't worry, Tamamin. We'll save you. Yosuke-san, Chie-san, and Yukiko-san? Hmm. So, uh, what's up? Hmm. Yep, I win. I'm the cutest one here. What? That's what that was about? Is this really the time for that? And, hey, why am I even in the running? Well, 
Well, who do we have here? We won't let you have Tamamine. You're still around. Sorry, but it's almost time for Tamami's big performance. Let's go, Tamami. Make everyone laugh, like you always do. Wh why should I go with you? Besides, I'm not trying to make anyone laugh. Oh, I know. You're just working hard, always trying to do your best. But it's a funny thing, isn't it? The harder you work, the farther away you seem to push everyone. Funny? How dare you? I... It's all right. I understand your pain. If you connect with me, you won't have to suffer at all. These guys again? Dude, there's even more of them this time. I won't have to suffer? Tamami san, stay back. We'll handle this. Huh? Uh, okay. Chan. Whoa! Not gonna happen! Sorry! That's right! All your pretty words are nothing but lies! Ha! Huh. Now that we're here, it's not gonna be so easy for you! Ha! <laughs> Stop yapping! You don't know a thing about Tamami. No one likes pain or suffering, so let's all get connected! Can't afford to lose. Stand back, everyone. Wait, Yukon. I'll dance this one. Yukiko, what are you saying? Don't worry. I've been practicing the song Risei-chan gave me every time I took a bath at our inn. First come, first served. Right, Yosuke-kun? Then here I come. Maybe Yukiko just really wanted to dance? Yukiko, you were dancing in the inn's open air bath? Sorry for the hold up, Senpai. The shadows are right in front of you, aren't they? Risei Chong, I'll be dancing this time. Can you prepare the music for me? You mean your track, Yukiko Senpai? Uh, give me a sec. Okay, ready when you are. Thank you. Then let's begin. Let's get it started now. Hobbit, 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 Hobbit.
persona! Brilliant! <laughs> I think that went very well! I'm glad I could watch your beautiful dance, Yukiko. They understood me. How well did I dance, though, I wonder? Her moves weren't anything special, but the emotion in that dance, I... I can't possibly... Do you see now, Tamami? They'll only hurt you. You're not like them. They can't save you. Stop being a sore loser! You trying to pull something else? <laughs> Me? Oh no, you're the ones tormenting Tamami. No, I... I need to be number one. The best. Or else, my place... My, my purpose... Tamami-san, stay calm! No! I... Damn it! What the hell was that? We can't save Tamami-san? What did that voice mean? Later! We have to hurry! She wasn't acting normal at all! Tamami-chan is in danger! You're right! Let's chase after her! This is an actual circus tent. Is Tamamin really here? I see her! Over there! Shut up! I'm going to be the best. The number one idol in the industry. Do you have any idea how much I've done? How hard I've worked for that? True. You've put a lot of effort into realizing your goal. But is that what you really want? Huh? You just want to be accepted. All your life, your famous actress of a mother and your beloved father have told you to be a star. How? How could you know about that? <laughs> I know everything about you. And I know how badly you're hurting inside. You've been trying hard for them, but you're well aware that you'll never live up to your mother's image, or even Konami. And since you're not the best, no one is going to accept you. No one will ever love you. Poor Tamami. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it!
This is bad. We gotta hurry. Tamami-san! Tamami-san! Look, they've come for you, Tamami. Stronger, more talented people here to save a helpless little girl. Yes, I know that you aren't strong. You don't really want to be the best. No, that's not true. I... It's all right. Don't kill yourself over something you're not. People want you just the way you are. Just listen for yourself. Listen to everyone's voices. Tamami doesn't need to be number one. Her looks are pretty average, but she's still decently popular. Who cares if she doesn't sell that much? What is he talking about, Tamamin? <laughs> I know, right? As long as she's fun to watch, I'm totally fine. She's kind of a natural airhead. All she needs to do is make us laugh sometimes. I don't want her to break out or anything. I prefer she just kept being the group's comic relief. I heard she does a ridiculous amount of training on her own, but why? She won't lose her job as long as she keeps people laughing, don't you think? Uh, hi! See, Tamami? You don't need to go to such trouble. No one expects it. Won't you accept these people's desires? You can leave your days of pain and hardship behind. I see. <laughs> I never needed to work hard. Tamamin! Tamami John! I don't care anymore. If that's what everybody wants, I might as well take the easy way. What the hell? Dude, this looks bad. She's been taken in by the voice's power. <laughs> there. We're connected. Now we can become the Tamami everyone wants. And I'm not gonna forgive anyone who doesn't respect hard work! Chie! 
Hey! There's lots of things I hate about myself. I tried to hide them, worried that people might not like me. But these guys saw me inside and out. And they accepted me for who I am. That's why I'm with them now. All the important stuff that everyone taught me. I'll get it through to you, Tamami-chan. Yeah, Chie! Knock him dead! Chie Senpai, I heard everything! Rise chan <laughs> It's kind of embarrassing, but there you have it. So cue it up. Yeah, I'm cranking it up, so show me that fancy footwork. Alrighty then, let's do this! Showtime! steps. No one else comes close. Did that do it?
everyone! Tamamine! I... what? Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, I guess I really blew it there. Uh, no biggie, right? Yeah! What's important is that you get it now, Tamami-chan! Oh, man. I thought I did everything I could, but I didn't realize I had so much to learn. I'm going to stick to my extra voice training and all the dance lessons, no matter what anyone else thinks. I won't give up. I'll keep at it so one day, I'll be able to express my real self to those people I heard. Thank you so much, Chie-san. And you too, Yu-san, Yukiko-san, and Yosuke-san. Good luck. I'm sure you can do it. But I'm still gonna be number one. No more helpless little girl, ever. From now on, I'm the one doing the saving. It'll be exciting, dramatic. Like I'd suddenly appear and save a puppy caught in a storm drain. Hey, you think she knows this kind of stuff is why people think of her as the goofy one? Don't ask me! You guys, I'm standing right here. I'm an idol. A very serious, very professional, non-comic relief idol. some kind but where does it lead wait is this the door to our dressing room oh it totally is it's got the same scratch right across here the door to the dressing room yeah the one at Takara productions we use it all the time when we have a recording session or something Takura Productions? You mean where we came from? How could it be here, though? Let's go take a look inside. We might find out something. Um... Hello? Excuse me? It's a tiny bit different. But this is the Takura Productions dressing room. I'm sure of it. I don't sense any enemies around. I think we might be safe here. Did you notice you can't hear that bizarre song in here? There's something about this room. It's different from the other places we've been so far. Yeah, I know what you mean. Almost makes me forget we're in another world. What is this? Huh? Some kind of note? A note? Does that mean someone was here before us? I don't think this is a letter. It's more like a diary entry. A diary? Whose, though? Hey, you! You mind reading that out? The pressure from everyone is crushing me. No one really knows me. I don't have any bonds with anyone. I don't want to sing. I have no right to sing that song. It hurts so much. I feel like I'm suffocating. I want to disappear. I'm too weak even to stand on my own. I just wish I could connect to someone to have a bond to support me. The writer was clearly in a lot of pain. I wonder if they came here and wrote it. But this isn't the real world. Who would even have had the chance to do that? Huh? 
I just thought of something. But, uh, I don't know. Say it, Yosuke. That voice out there kept telling us and Tamamin to get connected, right? And then there's this note. And the idol who committed suicide? I don't know. But I'm getting the idea that it's all... Uh -uh. No, I can't handle that stuff! An idol who committed suicide? Everyone, are you alright? Oh, Rise, we're fine. How about you guys? What the? What's going on? Oh no! Now I'm hearing voices? Rise Senpai's in my head! Don't worry, it's like a phone. It's harmless. Uh, oh, really? We just saved Sumomo. You're with Tamami, right? I can tell she's there. I'm glad you're safe. Looks like things are going well on your end, too. Yeah, Kanji and Teddy are both really pulling their weight. Oh, and so is Naoto-kun, naturally. Oh, thank God! Sumomo's okay! And the place you're in right now, it looks like a dressing room, right? What about it? I think it'd be best to leave Tamami there to rest, instead of moving on ahead with her. What? Why? I don't want to stay here on my... Ooh. Ooh. Tamami-san, are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's just... I feel really tired. I knew it. It's like the TV world. Normal people get exhausted just by being here. So it would do more harm than good if she went with you guys. Is it really that safe here, though? I mean, what if shadows pop up again while we're gone? You sent away all the shadows in your area, so it should be okay. Plus, I don't even sense a residual shadow presence in that room. It's almost like a safe zone. A safe zone? As far as I can tell, yeah. So you should make sure Tamami gets some rest and go on ahead. Oh, and about Miss Ochimizu? Uh, uh, geez, I gotta go. We'll talk later, okay? Got it. Was Risei Chun gonna say something at the end there? Wonder what it was. Yeah, something about Miss Ochimisu. Uh, hey, do I really have to stay here? I can't go with you guys? I understand what Risei Chun's saying. But it's only natural for Tamami-san to feel anxious being here alone. What should we do? Maybe one of us stays with her? Considering what just happened, it's probably a bad idea to split up our forces. I'll stay with Tamami. Mizo Chimisu? You need someone to stay in order for you to move on, right? So, I'm saying I'll stay. That is Miss Ochimizu, right? The LMB producer? I think so. That rude lady we met at the studio. Yukiko, she can hear you! Wait, hold on. She protected Konami-chan and she got dragged into this world. Why is she standing here all cool like nothing happened? This has got to be what Rise wanted to tell us. Of course I pushed Konami away to protect her. I'm sure nobody had a better plan at the time. You don't have to say it like that.
Miss Ochimisu, I'm glad to see you safe. But how did you get here? I hate repeating myself, but I suppose I must, since you weren't with the other group. I simply walked here. When I came to, I was lying on the ground, so I started moving. I did run into some strangely dressed people along the way, but they didn't do anything to me. Strangely dressed people? Wait, you mean shadows? And they didn't attack you? How's that possible? I don't know, but when I got closer, they vanished into thin air. Suppose I'm not too popular here, either. Sh shadows have likes and dislikes? Pardon my rudeness, but you don't look very surprised given the situation. Why is that? Well, I'm not that hard-headed. I don't know where this is, but after what happened, it would seem reasonable to think that something supernatural is going on here. And panicking won't get me anywhere, will it? Now, from the looks of you, I'm guessing you have an idea about what's going on. Or this is something you're used to. And you've come here to save Tamami and the others. Is that correct? Uh, well, that's pretty much it, yeah. Then I can only offer my thanks. Sumomo and Tamami. At the very least, your group rescued those two already. Well, we just, you know, did what we could. Wait, Mizuchimizu, how do you know that? I met Rise Kujikawa and the others prior to coming here. It was after they saved Sumomo. Dude, she really gets stuff done. Tamami, if you're a professional, then bite the bullet. You're staying here with me. Understood? Y yes, ma'am. Jeez, she's so intense. There's no way anyone could say no to that. I freaking told you! This is the Empress, every fan's worst nightmare! That's all I have to say. If you're done here, then go. I'll leave the other members to you. No mistakes will be tolerated, right? We'll do our best. Yukun, I can't believe you can talk to her like it's nothing. She really gets under my skin. Me too. Does she really have to put things so harshly? That's no way to ask favors of people. It makes me lose the will to even try. Yeah, huh? I've seen her on TV, but man, she's even rougher in person. But is it me? Or is she harsh on purpose? I wonder if there's a hidden agenda or something. Do you really think so? She did thank us, so I don't feel bad about anything she said. Well, we're here to save the members of Kanamin Kitchen. Whatever she says, it doesn't change what we're going to do. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry I brought up such an awkward subject. Anyway, we should take a quick rest and get moving. We don't have any time to lose. We need to save everyone. Hmm. <laughs> You have a solo part at LMB, don't you? Y yes I do. How are you feeling? Any better now? Yes, I was exhausted before, but I think I'm okay now. I see. Can you dance for me? Right now? If you're too fatigued, then that's fine. Oh, no, no, I I'll do it. Please, let me dance. Then start. Yes, ma'am. Stop. No. No, you're not getting it at all. Listen to me, Tamami. The power, the soul of that routine is like... Pain and outrage. The agony of the oldest brother of a family of orphans. His precious flan eaten by careless younger siblings. 
you raise your hands to the heavens and cry out in pure, wretched, exquisite misery. Do our bonds mean nothing? What? I, uh, I don't get it. Here. It's way different from before. It was a circus for a while back there, but this feels more like nightlife, don't you think? Mm-hmm. I wonder what the person who made all this is trying to accomplish. The person who made this, huh? Yeah. It's not like the TV world where everything reflects the mind of the one trapped inside. So the most reasonable guess would be that that voice made all this. Who the heck is it anyways? It's been all voice and not one appearance yet. Huh? You mean it's not a ghost? Yukiko, I know it's unintentional, but you really should watch what you say before you start losing friends. Look, forget the ghosts! Either way, we have no idea who this person is, right? Isn't there some sort of hint anywhere? You know, something not ghost-related, please. It sounded like that voice knew Tamami-san fairly well. Hey, that's right! It even talked about Tamami-chan's mom! She seemed pretty surprised herself. Yeah, and you know, there's a ton of idols out there. Weird that only the four from Kanamin Kitchen were kidnapped. Considering what happened to Tamamin, does the person responsible know a lot about the other three, too? Oh, right! Tamami-san also recognized that dressing room from Takura Productions. If Yosuke-kun is right, and that voice is the one creating this world, then... There's a good chance the culprit is related to Takara Productions, and knows Tamami-san and the others well. Save Tamamin, Sumomin, Tomomin, and Nozomin, not to play your stupid game. We already know you've got something to do with Takara Productions. We'll catch you sooner or later. Catch me? You're so funny, but how sad. You don't listen to a word I say. Poor Tamami paid the price because you poisoned her. She abandoned her bond with us. Don't say it like that! You're twisting things to make us sound like the bad guys! Oh, but you are. A cruel poison that eats away at our bonds. If people like you didn't exist, they could all be happy, never having to deal with pain and suffering. <sighs> How about this? I can return you to the world you came from. After all, if you're not interested in making a connection with us, then you have no place here. Huh? You'll send us back? Well, that's good for us, isn't it? Don't fall for it, Chie. I'm almost positive that voice's offer doesn't include Tamami-san and the others. It's only trying to get rid of us. Oh! Oh, yeah! Sheesh! Trying to be sneaky, huh? Sorry, but we don't need your help. We're going to save all the idols and return to our world on our own terms. Yu's right. There's no way we're just taking off on our own. I see. Then do what you like, I suppose. But I wonder, will Tomoe go with you? Tomomi? She's up ahead? Maybe. <laughs>
Looks like it's not gonna let us through so easily. Why don't you just give in? The harder you resist, the more pain you have to suffer. Connect with us, and you'll be freed from everything. That's my cue. No way in hell we're backing down now. Yosuke. All right, go Yosuke. Show him that you can be cool sometimes. Gee, thanks. That's really encouraging. Rise, can you hear me? <laughs> Loud and clear, Yosuke-senpai. Ready when you are. All right. Well, I don't look that good. And I'm not as talented as you. But as long as I have friends who accept me for who I am, I'm gonna stick with it! Time to bring the house down! Get ready to dance. The heart, the lessons are taught. Yo, back side of TV, the sums like DV. Bottom the stock, so don't mean not for the weak kids. Underestimate away your brain, wash illuminated, bunch of hallucination, but the sums elucidation. Hell now, nah, won't cave, I'm an outlaw, outlaw. Switch my style, can I tap for a tap for? Jealousy running like sunny boom It's best up how anger and hate you looms Large in the door, living scars to some But who's few? I got my third eye to see through the costumes Lies after lies, little finger from lotus juice This plot holds beyond dark, he's all so intriguing Lost ones drunk off a pool of money dreaming Dancers to battle and against these demons Great souls even screaming, no oh, please Jesus Money makes the world go around, who the richest? Mother Teresa, but they never listen to me Kept dressing with a fake cover, red spit Fire burn these trees, baby, baby, baby To everything, but we're gonna bring it up. Even if a dime or words are lit, bring it up until my last breath. Never ever gonna give it up. Hmm, ridiculousness. Suppose it's sick, sick business. But we ain't gonna be fooled by these sickness. My brain is safe and sound with pure goodness. Uh, I guess comparably. So just throw your hands high in the air. In the air, so I can see how you're feeling. Put it up in the air. When I say yeah, I wish you say it back, say oh yeah. Yeah, I love it now. Let's change the world. Persona! Brilliant! Yeah, I feel like... 
like I nailed that! I see no room for complaints there, Yosuke. How's that for expression, huh? Not bad, Yosuke! That was all you out there! Yeah, that dance had Yosuke written all over it. You don't give up, do you? Well, no matter. Whatever you do, our bond is eternal. Well, there goes the voice. That really ticks me off! Saying whatever and take it off just like that! Oh, I am so mad I don't care if it is a ghost anymore! But that voice... What was it? If people like you didn't exist, they could all be happy? Never having to deal with pain and suffering? Wait. If you flip that around, isn't it saying as long as we're here, they'll have to deal with pain and suffering? Sounds like it actually understands what we're saying. They just want to sweep the pain under the rug. Maybe the voice knows what it's saying is wrong. So what? It's painful to face the truth, so they're choosing to look away from it? Hmm. I noticed that it's hung up on the whole bonds thing, too. Then we might be able to reach out to the voice after all. Yeah, we gotta make it come to its senses. Even if it hurts us. In any case, our top priority is still saving everyone. If what that voice said is true, then Tomoe-san should be just ahead. Alright, let's get hyped! Let's keep our momentum going and save Tomoe-chan! Then we'll meet up with Risei-chan! Right, okay. yeah! Definitely her! Those wistful eyes, that alluring look, that flowing hair. That's Kanamin Kitchen's leader, Tomomin, the soft lamb. Wow. I mean, wow! Holy crap, this is a dream come true! Well, here we go. When it comes to this stuff, you can't shut him up. Risei-san, Yukun, right? Tomoe-san, I'm glad to see you're safe. Are you hurt? I, I'm fine, but I couldn't find anyone else. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm so worried. Sumomo, Tamami, Nozomi. Oh, I hope they're okay. We just rescued Tamami-san. She's with Miss Ochimisu now. The others are on their way to save Sumomo-san and Nozomi-san. Really? Oh, thank heaven. I was afraid something might have happened to them. <gasps> Where's Tamami? I need to see her. She must be feeling terrible right now. Whoa, um, T Tomomin, calm down. You're not really, uh, acting like yourself. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. I can't believe... I'm... I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, no. It's... it's fine. I was just... surprised. 
I never really imagined Tomamine losing her cool, you know? <laughs> Come now, Tomoe. That's not the you that everyone wants. Our guard down this time! Let's go, Tamari. Your greatest performance is about to begin. Uh, uh stop it! Can't you see she doesn't wanna? Of course she does. This is all for her sake, after all. Right, Tamari. No! I'm not going! I don't wanna perform here! It's okay, Tomoe. I know you're just saying that. You will come with me. It's what everybody wants. See? Shadows here are connected by those ribbons, too. Come on, Tomoe. You're the leader. It's your job to live up to everyone's expectations, isn't it? Are you going to turn your back on them and run away? The... the leader... Tomoe san, you need to get a grip on yourself. Don't be fooled by those words. Oh, you, you're right. After all that stuff with Tamamine, we can't let our guard down. I'll protect Tomamine with my life. Yeah, but first we need to do something about these shadows. I'll handle this. Yukiko! I kind of understand Tomoe-san's feelings. When everyone has high hopes for you, you want to make them happy, but your feelings are all mixed up. You don't want to disappoint anybody, so you struggle. It's always on your mind. You don't know what to do. It hurts. Yukiko. But you can only be you. Nothing good comes from lying to yourself. I understand now that telling others who you are and being understood makes life so much better. <laughs> so you think you understand? I'm afraid you don't understand anything. No one wants a bond that only brings you pain. Connect with me, and it will all be so clear. Oh, the song again. Showtime!
showed off some nice moves, right? Bravo, Yukiko! Your training is definitely paying off! Thank goodness. It looks like they understood me. Dancing is hard, but you really can reach out to people if you put your heart into it. That was excellent, Yukiko. Way to go, Yukiko! You were gorgeous! Oh, man. That reminded me of the first time I tried asking you out on a date. Huh? You did? When was that? Oh, never mind. Forget it. I already learned not to expect anything. So, you've poisoned them as well. That's not how it really is. And you know that, don't you? Chaining shadows down here isn't going to help anyone. Yeah, if you want to bond that bad, go out into the real world. It might be tough. You might feel a lot of pain. But you gotta find someone who will hear you out and show them the real you. Hmm. <laughs> you kids really are interesting, but you don't get it, do they, Tamori? The more you act as yourself, the farther you push people away. You know that better than anyone. Have you ever been loved even once? For who you truly are. You only get hurt and betrayed. Isn't that right, Tamori? I... I'm... Do you really want that? You're the leader. If nobody loves you, how can you protect anyone? No. This is just like what happened with Tamamine. You! On it! Stop it! We can't give up for Tomoe-san's sake. We'll keep trying until we save her. Come on, we've got to move! Yes, let's go! If we hurry, we can still catch up. What is this place? It feels like somewhere shady you'd go to drink at night. Although, not that I've been to one, but this looks kind of retro. Look, there's Tomoe-chan! Who are you? Why do you know about that? But to 
no way. No one needs that, you. If people are disappointed, their hearts will abandon you. Poor girls, left behind by their own leader. I... I... Sumomo... Nozomi... Tamami... Konami... Tomoe-san! Tomoe-chan! Forget who you really are, Tomoe. Sexier than anyone. Dominant over everyone. The mature leader. That's the you everyone wants. Here. Listen to what everyone has to say. I love how she seems so... seductive. In control. Like, they're supposed to be edible idols, but it feels like she's the one doing the eating. That better than you attitude gives me chills. I love that sultry look, like she knows exactly what you want. These voices again! Without Tomomine, there's no sex appeal. I don't feel like supporting them without a little incentive. I have to admit, it's the sexy ones I get the hots for. And that's Tomomine all over. the sexy, confident you, who has men wrapped around her little finger. Now, just accept it. There's no place for the real you. That's right. This is all I have. No, Tomomin! Tomoe-san! Everybody is happy this way. The real me is worthless. Not again. Why does it have to end up like this? Keep your guard up. It's coming. Ah! I feel so hot. That's right. I am the butterfly. The queen of the night. It's useless trying to show the real me anyway. No one would ever understand. Come here, babe. Connect with me and feel the heat. Leave it all to me and I'll show you the time of your life. <laughs> Don't you prefer pleasure over pain? Why go through the pain of expressing yourself? You get nothing out of it! That's not true. Tomoe-san, you're just hiding behind someone else's desires. Yukon is right. Maybe nobody has understood you yet, but you can't give up that easily. Watch me, Tomoe-san. I'll show you what it means to express yourself. All right, get him, you! You can do it! Rise, can you hear me? I need my song. Loud and clear, senpai. Okay, here comes the beat. Let's do this. Play the music. Showtime!
Izanagi! about that? Well done, Yukon! You really do have a magnetic personality! Did he do it? myself and, and and everyone saw that it's okay everything the good parts and the embarrassing parts it's all part of you Tomoe-san we're the same and I'm sure there are people out there who will accept you as you are Tomoe-san when I was a student I a friend about my hobby. She laughed so hard. I got scared, couldn't face her. And before I knew it, we weren't friends anymore. Huh? Wow, I'm sorry. I guess that was when I learned to distance myself from everyone else. I was scared to be myself. Tomoe chan! I don't know the details, but I doubt they meant any offense. It's all right, Yukon. I know. Thinking back on it, it's only natural that she laughed. But thank you. I really appreciate it. I... I... I'm... weird! I love manga. I watch TV at home all day. I just can't get out of my kotatsu! On my days off, I stay in my PJs, eat snacks, drop crumbs all over, and waste hours online checking my favorite sites! I'm too scared to hold hands with a boy! I'm not good at talking to people, and I always spend New Year's on my own! I see manga I like, and I buy it! Then I realize I already have that volume, but oh well, you know... God, I'm awful! Wait, uh, are you serious? <laughs> Buying two of the same manga? I do that too! <laughs> Yukiko-san! Now is not a good time for that! What if this traumatizes Tomomine even more? <laughs> no, it is funny for sure! I mean, who'd need two, right? <laughs> Oh, boy. So she's that type? Oh, and I thought one was tough enough to deal with. It is again. That same door we saw with Tamami-san. Is this the door to the dressing room at our office? How come it's here? Why don't we go inside? Uh, carefully. We don't know yet if it's safe inside. Just like I thought. It looks pretty much the same as last time. Yeah. You can't hear that song either, huh? Anyway, we should probably take a short rest. We've saved Tamami-san and Tomoe-san so far. I'm sure you're all feeling tired by now. Whew, 
don't mind if I do. This dancing stuff is really killing my legs, you know. Senpai, are you okay to talk? Rise, yeah, we're good. We just saved Tomoe-san. Uh, oh no, I can't be going crazy. I-I can hear Rise-san's voice inside my head. And Yukun is talking back to her? Oh boy, here we go again. They can't help it. It is getting repetitive, though. How is it over there? Is everyone all right? Mm, we're having some issues. I gotta say, it is a bit rough without you guys. By the way, about Miss Ochimizu. Yeah, it seems like the shadows don't attack her for some reason. Wait, how do you know that, Senpai? We ran into her too. Oh, I see what's going on. Geez, she does whatever she wants, like always. What do you mean? It's nothing. Anyway, we've got some catching up to do. I'll fill you in once we meet up. All right, we'll be waiting. Bye, Senpai! Look, it's just like when we were with Tamami-san. Oh, not that again! And I was this close to putting it out of my mind! The morning glory won't bloom, no matter how hard I wish. I've already forgotten my true face. My love for music has grown cold. I'm scared to sing. Scared to get on the stage. Scared to face my fans' expectations. How would she feel if I left? I don't want to make her sad, but nothing can fill the void in my heart. This person's having some hard times. It's even worse than the last note. Ghost or not, this is just plain scary. Could the culprit behind this really be a ghost? That idol who committed suicide? Even if that's possible, it's too soon to judge yet. <laughs> if we could just figure out who wrote these, I wouldn't be as freaked out. Idol, suicide, morning glory, calistegia? A uh, what? Calistegia. It's another name for morning glory, but don't tell me. Tomomine, you know what this note is about? N no, but it reminded me of something I heard when our appearance at LMB was finalized. A very popular idol who was with Takura Productions passed away a few years back. It was apparently big news back then. Just before she died, she wrote one final song. Calistegia, a flower commonly known as Morning Glory. And that song, Calistegia, that's the new song we're debuting at the LMB Fest. An idol that belonged to Takara Productions, who has a connection with Kanamine Kitchen. It does match the profile we came up with. Uh, this conversation is going in a bad direction. Are you saying the culprit is seriously a, a, a ghost? Chie, breathe, relax. It's too early to jump to any conclusions. But yeah, things are starting to connect here. No! That doesn't help a single bit! Drive a stake through my heart, why don't you? Tomoe-san, do you know why that particular song was selected for Kanamine Kitchen? Ms. Ochimizu. Ms. Ochimizu? Yes, it was her decision. Calistegia never saw the light of day. After what happened, its release was put on hold indefinitely. 
But Miss Ochimizu said that'd be a key selling point. Seriously? Tomoe-san, um, if you don't mind, can I ask you the name of the idol that passed away? Oh, yes. It's... Yuka Osada. Mizuchimizu? Why are you here? Yuko's curse. The notion is so ridiculous, I'd expect to find it on the cover of a tabloid. You don't have to put it like that. How can you say that for sure? Having Kanamine Kitchen sing Yuko-san's song might be an effective marketing strategy. But it could well be thanks to you that they were thrown into this incident. I can see your position. In a place like this, it's easy to think some monster or ghost is responsible. However, it's impossible that this is Yuko's curse. It's flatly out of the question. You can't know that for sure! Yes, I do. And that's the end of the conversation. Tomoe, choose your words more carefully if you don't want to make a fool of yourself. See what chaos you've caused? Uh, I'm sorry. How could you? Everyone, that's enough. We don't know if Mizo Chimizu is even a part of this. No, I apologize. I shouldn't have lashed out. In any case, I'll take it from here. Tomoe, stay here with me until you've recovered. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am! you here, Mizo Chimizu? Is Tamamin okay? Yes, I came after you. I figured if you saved another girl, she would need looking after. Like in Tamami's case. As for Tamami, she's fine. That room seemed pretty safe, and she's calmed herself down. Idols aren't that fragile. I see. Thank you. Anyway, you've successfully saved Tamami and Tamoe. I'd like to thank you, but I think I'll wait until this whole mess is over. We're looking forward to that. Let's get out of here together, all of us. I'm afraid I must leave that to you. Neither Tomoe nor I are of much use here. It's always like that. Every crisis I face, I'm made aware of my powerlessness. Go once you're ready, and play detective all you want. But that's quite enough throwing around baseless accusations. seem to like her. The way she acts, I'd be surprised to find someone who does. I have a feeling she has her reasons for it. Anyway, let's hurry. We need to meet up with Risei's team and find a way out. I'm sorry I made things awkward. I'll focus on solving the case. Yeah, me too. I'm really getting hungry, so let's just get this over with and figure out everything else once we get back home. <laughs> That's just like you, Chie. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Nobody would think of dinner at a time like this except for you-know-who. Aw, sheesh, guys! I can't help it! I'm only human. up on your face oh um I've been here since yesterday and I couldn't do anything about it so I see yes that makes sense you're the eldest member of Kanamine Kitchen correct the LMB festival is right around the corner huh what oh yes 
You know, I've heard that exercise is good for the skin. I'll, I'll exercise. Uh, uh, some dance practice. Please allow me right now, right here. Go on then. Uh, no, no, you're not getting it at all. Listen to me, Tomoe. You need some real nuance, some emotion in that dance. Something like... A female veteran of the company's lowest department, advising the new addition to the group. A woman's worth is measured by the number of men she has conquered. Do you feel her pride? Her sorrow? Oh my god! I'm ashamed of myself! I didn't understand my routine at all! Alright, then let's meet up with Rise. Whew! Man, I'm really starting to ache here. It's because of you guys that we were able to save Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. Thanks for being with me. Come on, man. Why are you thanking us? We're the investigation team, remember? Saving people in danger is our thing! You know, you, I was wondering. It's about Mizo Chimizu. Did she seem to you like she was acting kind of strange? Miss Ochimizu? Really? Was she? You didn't notice? Was it just me then? Well, what did you think was strange? I noticed something too. She became pretty emotional, didn't she? Yeah. Right when the topic of that idol Yuko came up. It's only a hunch right now, but my gut tells me there's something she's not telling us. But what? Well, I don't know yet. That's actually why I thought I'd bring it up. What do you think of it all? I mean, including the whole Yuko Osada thing. You mean, whether or not this Yugo-san is the culprit? Uh, I'd like to stay away from that possibility. Hey, don't forget. The LMB website's rumor was about the curse of the dead idol in the first place. And what with these messages, which read almost like suicide notes, it does point to Yuko Osada causing this incident. Longing for bonds she couldn't have before. Also, she was with Takura Productions, and Kanemine Kitchen is performing her song at the LMB. Huh? But... I don't think them singing her song is a valid point. That voice knew a lot of personal things about Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. It's hard to believe Yuko-san would know that much about them. Yeah, exactly! See? I knew Yuko-san wasn't the culprit! Huh. You've got a point there. Tomomin didn't know much about Yuko-san, and it seemed like Tomomin didn't either. Besides, Kanamin Kitchen hasn't been around for that long. When you think about it, there's no way Yuko-san could have known them. Ah, oh, crap. It looks like we're back at square one. If it's not her, then who the hell's the culprit? If the author of those notes is really Yuko-san like Tomoe-san suggested, and we can assume the culprit also knows about Yuko-san. So it's someone who's related to Takura Productions, who knows Tomoe-chan and Tamami-chan very well, and also knows about Yuko-san. Do we know anyone who might fit all of that? Hey, who said it's limited to people we know? Huh? But then, we're out of luck! Why don't we meet with Risei-chan? It's always better to have more heads to think with. Oh yeah, <laughs> and they've got Naruto-kun with them! With the real detective and our leader together, there's no mystery we can't solve! <laughs> uh, why are you the one bragging? <laughs> I'll try my best. 
Let's head to the rendezvous point then. Something might have happened to the other group. Let's hurry. 